Awesome Rider Review. Hey YouTube, Awesome Rider here with a review of the Aqua Ranger and T-Rex Supercharged Dino Stunt Bikes. You can pretty much just tell what the verdict is just by looking at these, but let's go ahead and jump in. As always, at the beginning of my reviews, I jump in with a box, and I joke that that's the best part of the review, but this time it might actually be true. Mainly because of the cool promotional shots on them are pretty much better than this entire toy. Um, so you have, this is actually kind of a generic shot, like an almost drawn shot, or drawn toy shot of Aqua, which totally misrepresents the figure you get in it. This really isn't the cool part, I mean there's nothing special here, kind of a cool landscape, another shot of Super Drive, all that shenanigans. But the cool part is this really awesome shot of the Aqua Ranger here on the back, um, on the normal bike. Looks really cool. This is single-handedly better than all of the cycles that have ever happened since like Samurai. I think RPMs weren't the greatest either. But same deal here. It was a really cool shot of Carnival uh, T-Rex Supercharge on the regular bike. Just really cool stuff there. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to move these out of the way because these guys are going to need to do stunts. Enjoy the white background and box dropping noises. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just look at the tip top of these guys' heads. No. Um, okay, so... The last bikes for Dino Charge proper were these ones where they separated just like in the show and they sort of did this mix match thing, which to be honest, they never really took full advantage of. They could have actually made them a lot different and made the whole gimmick cooler. But now we have this stunt feature, which is essentially just, well, let me show you. Sorry, Aqua, you can, we're going to use Tyler here. He's going to go look for his dad over here because that's all he ever does. He looks for his dad and misunderstands what necklaces and bracelets are. So you just kind of rev it up and then, I can't even believe how fun that was, guys. That was more fun than my entire life. That actually might be true. But then you can do it like on the back wheel and you can sort of do this crashing thing and then you can just, you know, reenact like what accidents look like before they get into paralysis. Um, I'm waiting for the next wave, which is gonna be rangers in wheelchairs. But that's pretty much what you can do. You can rev them up, they can go forward, they can sort of go on the back wheel. That's their thing. I can see it being kind of fun. Um, like I said, I think they could have taken the mix match gimmick better, but yeah, that's their gimmick. Um, their other gimmick is being terrible. Um, so I usually give, I don't want to say I give Bandai America slack because I think they do some good things and I think people are too harsh on them in a lot of areas, especially when it comes to like uh, the Morphers and the Megazords and then the random complaining about the figure arts muscles, even though they used to be worse. But anyway, I'm getting away from myself. But here, they deserve all the crap they get. This is unacceptable. The bikes, they're all right, whatever. Could they be better? Absolutely. But they're fine. I really, I could care less. If the figures were better and the bikes were this much painted, that's fine, I really don't care. But this figure, these figures are absolutely unacceptable. They've been slowly being, slowly being, I'm such a good talker guys, this is such a good job for me. They've been slowly been getting maybe a little bit better. Um, they did go back to this five inch scale and got more articulation this year and last year. Um, and, but they're still always have been awful. I think since like Samurai, they've been less painted. They just look horribly misrepresentable. I don't even think that's a term. That's how upset I am. Um, but the Dino Charge ones were not anything amazing, but they at least had like their sashes painted. I mean, that's, I mean, can I even believe that? Like, that seems amazing at this moment, that the sashes were painted. This is atrocious. This is a solid color mold of a figure. It looks like it just came out of the factory before it went through painting. The only thing painted about him is his visor, and I'm just getting so old. Bukensha Cinderella. Okay, I'm sorry. But that's just, I'm sorry, that is unacceptable. I know it's for kids, but as a kid, I can't imagine seeing this and being like, oh my god, I have to have this figure. I mean, come on. I can't even believe that they get away with this. It's just terrible. I want the figures to be like the five-inch figures or close, and then keep the bike simple. That's fine, but I, I mentioned, I think, in my Dino Charge review of the cycles that they got a little bit better with the sashes and stuff, and the fact that we moved to a more articulated scale. But then you get this, and this is just unacceptable. It's just, it's terrible, especially for me for, um, like, Aqua, because the thing that I was absolute most looking forward to about Dino Charge and Super Charge and all that stuff was figures of uh, Cyan and Aqua, or Cyan, Cyan and Aqua, the same person, Cyan and Gray and Violet and Silver and all these guys we never really got figures for in Japan because they're not big on figures. So uh, we finally get Aqua merchandise, and because, for whatever reason, their Aqua Ranger's not in the first wave, uh, we're still waiting on them. This is the first piece of Aqua or Cyan merchandise I own that's related to the Ranger, and it's just awful. Like, he's even worse because he only has the two colors here. He doesn't even have a yellow background on him. It's just... 
honestly, it's it's pretty unacceptable. What for for collectors, obviously, it's crappy. But even for kids to do this to kids, this looks terrible. This looks like worse than the stuff you see at Big Lots, where you see something like Power Rangers Dinkle Charge, and it's like a, uh, you know, a knockoff. It's just, it's terrible. And I'm just so upset that they keep getting away with it. And obviously. They're selling okay enough these last few years that they keep making them and are deciding to continue with this with this crap fest. Um, like I said, the cycle is okay in terms of look. It, it certainly outclasses the figure, but yeah, honestly, this is an easy pass. Easily the worst of the Dino Charge line so far, or the Super Charge line so far. Just do not buy them. Zero out of ten. Would never bang. Also, shipping with these is. Um, the recycled gold and graphite cycles, they're not these new cycles, they're the exact same ones from Dino Charge, just with Supercharged logos. They've been doing a lot of that, which is really weird, so just FYI if you thought they were similar, but you can tell by their painted sashes, which just seems amazing. But yeah, definitely skip on these, they're de just a shame all around. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangerrambles.com, and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Writer, signing out.